Could have maybe got a glimpse on the troll. They're trying Zeus, maybe. There. Oh, oh that's call. a really good Onto call. Onto with Fada. Pops the blade mail. Yoku is donezo again. Static Storm was able to get off silent with a nice BKB activation from FN. They get a couple of heroes, but that is the Aegis. Troll World will be back, but pops the BKB to be able to get off that Pit of Malice. Looks like we have a Shackle Puppy again in the front lines. Underlord in a lot of trouble. And that Nimbus coming through again. As there's the Disarm and the Diffuse. And Medusa, if he goes down, this is 100% game in favor of Secret. Jeez. GG's come out. So Secret moves on to the upper, I don't know what to call this, the upper bracket final best of one. These teams meet. And we're going to jump into the mid lane. The duel comes out. This could be big. They're going to find a kill, potentially getting low. That's going to be crit down, but Fata will fall for it. He's got five at ace, popping the BKB, looking to try to take this fight. RTZ Shadow Blades away. The Eclipse going on the other side. Sumail BKB'd up. Misery coming in, gets the hex off in time. Puppy is there with the, oh, the save if necessary, but Ace getting caught ace and killed. Dead. RTZ and Fear going to work, but Fear will in fact fall. They take down Yapshore. They bought back on Fata. RTZ needs to back himself up, taking a lot. A lot of damage oh, to the Arc no. chasing after him. I don't know if it's going to do enough damage. It'll get him low, but I don't think it'll bring him down. Oh, it's going to no. be close. He's still running at this point, and it looks like he's able to make it away. And he will avoid the damage. But here comes mid one, the Nether Blast, the Life Drain. They take him out. It's going to be four dead for EG. Bata does buy back. Misery, the only survivor. He's going and for the he's war drop. Trying to drop the wards, but mid one <laughs> is there. The Nether Blast. I've seen this movie before, Misery. Oh, man. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. He's so close and every time. looking for fear as as well as Sumail trying to back up. Remember, he bought back. He's oh, in the trouble. The life drain, the jump in, the duel is there. And now Sumail dead for 112 seconds in secret just like that. Oh, no. They're now fighting five versus four. That's the dieback. That is huge. EG losing a critical hero at this point. And now this is going to be a tough defense for them at this point of the high ground. Again, it's like EG are forced to engage because look at this. They can just sit there and hit it and you either go on the Aegis carrier or you go on this Pugna who is super far back just blasting away. One full set of racks down instantly. Ace will move top. He's got the Manta. There's Nether Blast. The range rack's already super low. It's gone. It's going to be two sets easily in secret now. They're at the jugular looking for the finish off on EG getting super close. They need to do something, close. right? Or else it's just the same thing. Luna's going to take everything. They've got to try to fight here. They don't want to lose Megas. They might lose Misery. Good Nether Blast avoided by Yule Scepter. Ace is up. There's the Eclipse. He's got his Satanic. He's going to be able to pop it. If he needs it, he also has the Aegis as well. And he's going to work. He also has the Refresher Shard in his backpack ready to go for another <laughs> BKB. And this is going to be Mega Creeps. They lose Misery instantly as the Nether Ward does the job. And with two heroes dead and oh, Megas down, man. now a third. This is looking pretty impossible for evil geniuses to defend their tier fours. It's going to take a miracle at this point. Secret still have everything as well. Aegis, Refresher Shard, Almost cheese. losing Aegis. The good swap back. Ace is getting low. The tower hits. It's not going to be enough. And now RTZ is pushed back by the life drain as well. The tier four now falling. They're going to lose both tier fours at this point, and now it's just the Ancient. It feels so hopeless. What can they do? Captain Strap 4.0 might come to an end for them very quickly. RTZ drops oh, instantly, man. dueled up the Mystic Flare from Yapso. The only survivor is now going to be Fear. Wave of Terror up. He's going to buy back RTZ Will and try to get back into the fray. Three versus five, and Fear taking so much damage from this Pugna. It's going to be a double kill for Fata, and RTZ fountain dive at the end of the game. He will fall a triple kill, and Secret will win and move on. My, oh my, my, what a game. It felt like nice oh, yeah, sorry. Ice, ice, ice is going to jump in, misses the stun. No, he got it, actually, but they missed the hook on the Yapsor. He was stunned on the trees. Now coming in his mid one, drops the Searing Chains. Roshan getting about half HP. Yapsor coming through. They've got the Phantasm drop down. Good save with the Astral for Mushi. Now the real rack in. He's going to use the BKB and try to man fight this. Nana pops the Exorcism. Three seconds stun. He does get the Exorcism off, but there is going to be plenty of damage. The Wukong's command. They're looking to find Japs on the other side. Bata backing himself away. They will be one for one trade, but taking down Nana is the most important thing here, and Jabs is going to be next. Mid one getting a double kill. They're looking for Mushi. They don't quite get the searing change from mid one. So it's still a two for one trade, but Yapsor up in the trees. Jumping in is going to be the centaur. Stomp looked for, but he couldn't find it. Gets a stun from three seconds for Ace and gets blown away by Ace. The amount of damage he's doing is serious. The two man stun from the balance strike. Sanity does nothing other than drain the mana and four dead. About to be five. A double kill for mid one. A perfect fight for Secret despite losing Fata. They will still clear Can't out when find something. But I mean, they're just going to get Megas here. Mineski can only watch. Still no Mushi. They might find Puppy. They missed the hook timing. They will get the kill nonetheless, but it is again just a lion at this point. Secret are so damn strong, they might not even need him. They're going to pop the Wukong's command. They're going to work on the buildings. Nana is in with the exorcism, but look at the slide of this searing chains. Do some serious work. He doesn't get the insta-kill, but he has done so much that it's ridiculous, and he blows away that poor Nana. 
Uh, Death Prophet, not only that, but he will find another in the Centaur. A double kill for him. He is just going ham right now. Mid oh, no, one more. Right There's the dismember. Can they find it to stop the Static Storm? But it's too little too late. They hook onto Ace. Now he's in. He's going to find the triple kill. And GG is called. And Secret make it look easy in game number one, Trent. Uh, ultra kill there. And mid one is beyond godlike. No one could kill him. From afar, Ace looking for pickoff, but he won't be able to find it, I don't believe, anyway. He's up to the north. Jump in, Ravage from Fata hitting on to pretty much everybody. The Centaur Conqueror stomp, they're going to get this kill at the very least onto the Death Prophet. They've already dropped three, or rather two. Looking for the third in Ninja Boogie, they will find it a double kill for Ace. And that should lead into this tier three, the Rax, and perhaps the game trend. Yeah, Ice and Sice can do nothing but watch. Kind of feels like most of his game, honestly. Uh, didn't, didn't feel that strongly about the pick. The, the Slark is just such a ridiculous count. You can see in so many of the fights, he's just dark facting. He's just going straight on the egg. He's not being uh, like taunted by any of these other heroes or anything like that. It'll just be him and maybe the Coddle punching away on top of the egg. And Ice is Ice now struggling at 0, 8, and 6. So, Luppy will be up front. He's got the reincarnation still. Ace is in. There's the Supernova. It's not going to survive for much longer. Ice 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 is dead for 60 seconds. Mushi will pop the Eclipse, spotted taking some damage, but here comes Ace, they've got the Gush. The pushback from the Absort, the GG is called. Secret will move on, Mineski eliminated from CD 4.0. Yep, good luck in the final, says Ninja Boogie, as Mineski will be done. In my mind, Secret. VG just hit a really strong timing now with two 10 second BKBs. OD is not good against them. Coddle is worthless against these BKBs. Ogre is useless as well. There's actually more or less no way that Secret kill a hero in BKB oh right boy. now. Oh boy. Roshan being attempted by Vici Gaming right now. Fata, the Infest Bomb is on its way. They'll find him. They're going to go off the Fire Blast. He's going to work on the Paparazzi. We pop the BKB. Chronosphere onto two. Looks like most of the damage not being done. Not really that much, but the Lifestealer. Oh, the cheese off. oh my god, he gets the cheese off just in time. Now he's dealing even more damage. The Refresher Charge still on the ground right now. BKB pop by Lan M. Ace working on more supports. It's a two for one. Mid one to first to fall. Secret triple kill for Ace. He is an absolute beast. And Medusa falls afterwards. Who picked up the refresher shard? Looks like Fata got the Aegis. An enormous fight for Team Secret. Young 11. Looks like he'll be able to get that TP up. Oh, he gets stunned with the blinding light again. Puppy continuing the chase. TP canceled. Young 11 with no mana to speak of. See if they can actually get this kill. Mana leak again. And that is another kill. That's a team wipe for Team Secret. And Ace and company, they're they're on the footsteps of Vici's base. Paparazzi trying to push out this on way. Swap. Huge swap from Puppy. Whoa. That is a long range, going. and he gets destroyed. 84 right. seconds, no void. This might be the beginning of the end of game one of this best of five finals for Captain's Draft 4.0. Ace applying more pressure to this tier three tower that Mystic Snake's not going to do a whole lot this stage of the game. And this is going to be mega creeps for Secret, as they're just going to blow up another member. Disruptor falls to the deck. Ori trying his best to hold the heroes at bay. Pops that BKB along with the Stone Gaze. But Secret doesn't seem to care too much about it. As look at that damage on the Mirana. She jumps in and just gets insta give. GG comes out. Team Secret. Wow. That is a ridiculous game from them. Could blink and stun him at any time to prevent him from going in. One here comes the Yapsor initiation. They're gonna try to blow up the pop. There's the back and the wall. Will it be on the morphling? Is the question. Pops the BKB and just right clicks that Dark Seer down easily. We'll have to find a different avenue as the wall is in the way. But so you could oh, do I mean, take out doing a lot hero. of the back, onto the Death Prophet. That's two for one right now. One buyback into the game from Yapsor. Fenrir in the meantime being isolated, but on the backside in the river. Ori trying to catch up to Ace. Not a whole lot of mana right now. Is Morphling attempting to catch up? There's the E-Blade, there's the Adaptive Strike, and there's the Death. Double kill for Ori. A two for three with a buyback on Yapsor. And we'll see if Vici came and can find any more. Yapsor and company looking to p potentially defend this. Puppy's yeah. still with that Echo Slam. Certainly making it exciting here, Vici came. <laughs> they gonna do, go they in. do it for the fans. Oh, Ember's oh, back. Ember is here. Mid one dealing tons of damage. Looks like Lion will find his way to the grave just barely with that Flame Guard. A nice kill for Secret again. Nice dodge as well from, from mid one. He's warming up now. Only one buyback in the game right now, by the way. This is when mid one is at his best, when he starts getting items on Ember Spirit. I think he's, this is like his most comfortable position in Dota in general. Farmed on this Generally, exact transformation hero. heroes don't really want to have that Aegis, but now it's pretty good. They've given the cheese to Paparazzi, probably because he has buyback and Ori doesn't. And this is like the safer approach from yep. Vici. So showing very good understanding of the risks. And oh, Echo Slam used. Impale to follow, though. Here comes mid one, dealing tons of damage. Ori half HP with the BKB activated. 
The Morkling died right off the bat. He was full agility. So they just found the great initiation for Secret. Now here's the Hex. See if they can find some more. Young Eleven, nice fissure from Puppy again. They're going to try to take. There's the Refresher. Ori pops the BKB. Young Eleven with the nice coil onto two heroes into the crit form. Here comes Paparazzi. He bought back into the game and he's dealing a ton of damage. Double kill for him. Puppy looks to be next on the list. That is going to be a third kill from that buyback. Well worth it if you are Vici Gaming. And here's the buybacks now from Secret being used to full effect. Two there. And Vici, see if they continue the pressure or not. Ori still with the Exorcism. That was the refresher shard, I do believe. Yep. He has the Aegis, but that second life is not so useful now that he's used Indeed. to his shard. If they can get Paparazzi here, this will be a dieback. Here comes Fata with a back into the wall, into the right clicks. But Ori taking lots of damage on the sideline. Morphling and company, they get the rack. They should be happy with this. Ori, he gets Searing Chains, has to pop BKB again. He's extremely fast right now. Lan M rolling out. Ori might be the sacrifice if they're not careful. The Fissure does not connect with Ori, though. Lan M looks to be doing that for his team. And down he goes. So 40 seconds with no Puck, 82 with no uh, Earth Spirit. Mid one has the Red Man recharge talent. He keeps There's having the Searing Chains. He gets healed up thanks to the Exorcism. Gets silenced into Telekinesis and the Fissure. Can they actually finish him off? With Fenrir and Paparazzi, it's very tricky here for Seeker. They can continue to try to CC this Death Prophet. But Paparazzi deals so much damage, they have to fear that. They will take him down. That is the Aegis, though. And Morphling has to pop the BKB. Mid one and Secret will continue to try and chase either hero. Or go for this Morphling. This could be huge. Taking Fate. He's going to go down if he's not careful. This is going to be a huge kill for Secret. And down he goes. 120 seconds. No Morphling. Can Secret actually do this? The very least, this bottom racks will be falling, if not more. The mid racks not available for the taking. They could just go straight for throne. No creeps, though. The fortifications there. Refresher or the back orb. Door protection creeps now are coming on Ori. in. Refresher orb on Ori. All right, he's going to have double exorcism. The, his actual ult just came up as well, so no morphling though for 100 seconds. Here comes the coil onto two heroes. On, he's actually stole it. Did. Did the Rubik, and Ori's going to pop the BKB with that Exorcism Ace. Trying to kite him to a high degree. He's going to get stunned up. Can they bring him down again? There's the wall. He's taking tons of damage. There's a right click. There's the Echo Slam. Puppy takes him out, and Secret are going to force this to a Game 5. Some way, <laughs> somehow. How is this possible? Fight, you can take Roshan. It has a little bit of everything, but it's extremely difficult to play. And most of the time, like the human limitation just can lose you the game. If you trained a bot to play the perfect Meepo, it would probably be the most, the, the best hero in Dota, I think. All right, you know what to a expect at the next TI. Dota AI, let's go. <laughs> open AI, open AI Meepo. Yep. Or yeah. Secret, smoked up, looking for the going initiation. In. They're going to oh. jump in and destroy Skyrath. He is gone for 35, no buyback. Okay. Not the most important hero, but still 5v4 advantage, or if you're counting Meepos, a lot more, uh, I can't do math that fast. Four, tw 50 <laughs> against three. <laughs> sure. Tier three tower gonna be taking some damage. Look how far back VG is. It doesn't even matter. Mid one jumps in. This is the zoning Requiem yeah. of Souls. They're just gonna go for buildings all likelihood. Lan Am is dead. Paparazzi next. Double kill for mid one. As a Mystic Flare coming into play, but not dealing that much damage. Okay, they do take out the Aegis at the very least. Surprised that Seeker aren't just cleaning up the buildings. As Ace will be trying to poof away, he will do so successfully. The tier three tower is dead, and this will, in all likelihood, be Meep <laughs> will be Meepo taking out the racks and Mega Creeps to follow. Here's the last fight of the game, in all likelihood, Ice Path coming in. Ori is donezo. 55 seconds on the deck. GGs come out. Team Secret are the champions of Captain's Draft 4.0. Congratulations to them. Well played. And I feel like Vici Gaming are going to be kicking themselves after this yeah. series. We saw them in Dota Pit give up an 0-2 lead to, li to Liquid. Well played. And I feel like Vici Gaming are going to be kicking themselves after this yeah. series. We saw them in Dota Pit give up an 0-2 lead to, li to Liquid, getting reverse swept. And in this game, I felt like they should have won the first four games. But here we are with Secret as the champions. Well, you know, that's what makes great teams. You can make great comebacks and you can win stomps like this at the end. At the end, it's about winning games. Like, you can look great all you want, but if you don't finish out the games, it doesn't really matter for anything. Right. So, you can say, I agree. Like, Vici were ahead in all four games, but if they were the championship team, they would have closed it out 3-0. So, secret, extreme, just mental strength, really, to get to this point. Very impressive. Pulling they out that up. Meepo Trump card that just won them the game, honestly. That hero yeah. took off, nothing they could do to stop him. And Vici Gaming will be going home. Well, everybody's going home because <laughs> Secret just won the tournament. <laughs>
God, I'm an idiot. Let's let's throw it to yeah. the other idiot.